There is a battle raging, one that many don't even realize exists. A fight in which anyone can be the victim and anyone can be the aggressor. It can be motivated by politics, by ideals, or simply by financial gain. Just recently, a large company was targeted, and due to one of these attacks, ended up more than $60 million worse off. Targeted attacks are a reality. What you're about to see is based on the real story of one such attack. They don't even go there. Go where? Everyone knows, hand shot first. Hand shot second. What are you talking about? You not seen the original 1977? First. Second. Hey, get over here. I got a job. So this is what we're gonna do. First of all, we need to research the target. Find out what you can about their finances and social interactions. Make a list of departments and staff and get them on the wall. I want to know what these people are like. What are their online habits? Do they talk about their employer online? Also get me their perimeter security and internet facing systems. We really need to know what we're dealing with here. Criminals have examined the target's defenses and know what they're up against. Now they're packing and encoding different malware samples to make sure they remain undetected by standard security software. Sean is using anonymizing software to connect to underground forums. These are used to offer attack toolkits, intelligence, or even just for criminals to offer each other advice. So what do we have, Ralph? Well, we have our tools set up. And the ones that didn't get picked up by any of the security scanners we set up. And for access, we set up a booby trap website that will install the tool on the computer as soon as the user gets there. The link was sent to all the email addresses that we found on the social profiles of the employees. Now we just gotta wait for them to take the bait. Fortunately, the security software recognized the URL the criminals were using to host their exploit kit, and the email was automatically deleted. That was two days ago. Has anyone taken the tool yet? No. Then we need something else. Maybe the old-fashioned way. The old free flash drive trick. Hi. I found this in front of the main entrance. Could you check it out, please? Yeah. It's good you brought it here. Thanks. What are the employees talking about now? Well, a lot of people are talking about the company uh, lowering pay. And there you go. Maria. We're in. <laughs> We're in! This is it. Criminals have broken through the defences, combining a zero-day exploit with some social engineering to get the victim to open their malicious file. This computer is now under their control, and they can use this user account to begin exploring the network undetected. The hackers look for any information they can use to exploit the system and gain higher privileges to access further data. Here they find a login page to an HR database and attempt an SQL injection attack. It fails. They find an email from another user that seems to have access to important databases and target him. After dumping the local password cache, the attackers have domain admin credentials. They browse the network to find the machine belonging to the new target. They connect with the remote desktop to drop a back door for later use and access the local hard drive, searching them for sensitive data. We picked up a minor breach on one of our workstations. We've isolated it and made a thorough scan. We found a bot and removed it. Everything's fine now. Probably just some script kitty stuff. <laughs> Listen, we threw some back doors on it. We have domain admin, which means we have access to the whole network. We're so close, it's a done deal. Now it's time for the payoff, exfiltration. They return to the compromised machine and find their goal, credentials for a development database. A brute force attack against the server gets them root access and they're free to dump the entire source code for a critical project. All they have to do now is bring it home. Just like that. These types of cyber attack are becoming more frequent, costing companies hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
Traditional security simply can't keep up. Criminals can test their attacks to the point of invisibility and use legitimate compromised accounts to stay under the radar once inside a network. Effective security should operate on the assumption that breach will happen. Effective security should be your eyes and ears throughout the network, enabling you to detect and contain every aspect of a targeted intrusion. In one recent survey, more than 70% of respondents felt that their own organization's security activities were insufficient to cope with such an eventuality. Oh, Don't be a victim.